What up, guys? Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group at Douglas Element. And today I want to cover a subject that's a little touchy. Uh, some of you people, especially investors, are not going to like it. Um, but uh, I'm kind of pulling back the curtain on a technique or a tactic that a lot of investors use. Um, and it's actually used in sales all the time, whether you're buying a car, a house, whatever it may be. And what that term is, is bait and switch. So what does a bait and switch mean? Um, and the reason I'm bringing it up and we're going to kind of relate it to real estate is because it happens a lot when we see a property that hits the market that could be a possible investor flip. And it gets a bunch of activity and all the investors from San Diego and all over, hundreds of them come running out to buy the property. And what happens is a lot of times they'll write an offer for the property that's really high and they'll do it just to get their foot in the door and to wrap the, con the property up in a contract with your seller. And then once they do, what they will do is not put their deposit into escrow. They won't deposit it. They have 48 hours. They won't put it in. They'll sit on it and they'll ask to get out and see the property again. Once they have it under contract, they send their people out there to look at the property. Once their people go out to look at the property, what they'll do is they'll tie it up for another three or four days. So you're in escrow now for four or five days. You're bugging them to get their deposit in. They're saying they're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're not sure why. They'll bullshit you along the way about why their deposit's not into escrow. And they'll come back to you with some crazy report and say, you know what? After looking at the property, we can't offer this price. We need a price reduction of $80,000, which that price reduction typically will bring them way below all the other offers um, and way above or way below where they originally offered. So if they offer 600 and everybody else is at 670, 680, they'll come down to like, 610 and say, you know what? Unfortunately, the roof, the foundation, we got to redo this. It's going to take longer than we thought. They'll give you a bunch of excuses and they'll say, go back to your seller and tell me 80,000. If we do 80,000, we'll close in 24 hours. If not, we're going to back out. And they still don't have any skin in the game. They still don't have their deposit. They won't put their deposit. It's the craziest, sneakiest. It's it don't fall for it. So what I do, and I'm going to give you guys a tip as a listing agent, what you do is when you get these investors, when you accept their offer, you counter back to them and say that you want a passive deposit. Make sure that you open up the property before you accept any offers, open up the property for everybody to come look at. The investors, give them one day and say, bring your crews out, bring your contractors out, bring everybody out and look through this property and make sure that you're gonna give the offer that's your final highest and best that you'll close on because I'm gonna ask you and I'm gonna counter you for a, positive depo a passive deposit, meaning that once we accept your offer, that deposit has to be in escrow within 24 hours and once it's in escrow, it's going to go directly to the seller. And you can say, well, Jeff, there's, you said they're not going to get the deposit in. Exactly. So what we're going to do is once we accept their offer, we're going to give them 24 hours to get their deposit in per the counter offer. And we're, we're going to put the property, we're not going to put it in pending yet. I'm going to leave it in active until they get their deposit in. And I'm going to put that in the contract. Property will remain inactive until buyers deposit in, in escrow. Okay, so now it's gonna force them to get their money and deposit into escrow. And by making that deposit go directly to the seller by making it passive, now they have skin in the game. So if they try to back out or pull any different type of shit, you have their deposit at least in escrow that you can use as a, uh, as a tool to hopefully they don't back out or to negotiate with them or to hold on to that deposit as long as possible because they're playing games with you. So real quick, if you are a listing agent, you get a property that is going to be a flip. You get a bunch of investors. Make sure you do that for me. Do not accept any offers. Do not let them say, oh, 24 hour contingency period. No, open up a window, have all of them come through the house with their inspectors, with their contractors and give you a price where they can go passive with their deposit. You are very welcome for this tip because it's going to help a lot of people and it's going to hopefully reduce a lot of bullshit out there because I'm tired of it. Anyways, if you have any questions, Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group. You know where to find me, guys, social media. Facebook is Jeff Disher. I sell real estate by Instagram and Jeff Disher on YouTube. See you guys next time.